Hi, so in the past few videos, we um, talked about how to calculate or uh, yeah, come up with the time complexity. Um, this video, I'm just going to go over briefly, you know, what you want to do with this calculated time complexity, like the big O notation. So let's say we have a color. Let me just make this a little bit smaller. Okay, let's say we have this code right here. So the first thing, as we did in the previous videos, we're just going to calculate all the time complexity. You can go ahead and pause and do it real quick. But this is O of n cubed, or sorry, no, not O of n cubed, O of n squared times m. And yeah, so we have the time big O notation. So what do we do with this now? Um, let's just say you're given that um, n is at most or let's say one is equal to n is equal to uh, 10,000, or yeah. And then n So say in the problem you're given that n is um, between 1 and 10,000 and m is between 1 and 25. So we have the big O notation here. So what are we going to do with it? Well. It's really simple. You just want to plug in n into the O, uh, the equation. We kind of have an equation here with the big O notation and the m too. So since we're trying to find the worst case, we uh, take the upper bound for both of them. So what we do is the time complex, the I guess complexity would be like 10,000. Um, and then that's m. So you want to square that times m, which is 25. And yeah, so this basically gives you like 10 to the eighth, because um, 10,000 squared is 10 to the eighth, then times 25. So that's like 20, um, yeah, 25 times 10 to the eighth. So what we're given here is that the time complexity is like 5 times 10 to the 8th, and when we have something that's 25 times 10 to the 8th, that's like 2 times 2.5, or let's just say 3 times 10 to the 9th. And so this is going to be too slow to pass um, the test cases um, for the use code. Uh, obviously, they might give you, like, in some problems, they might give you uh, longer time uh, limits, but uh, if it's if it doesn't um, say that, then your code, if it's 3 times 10 to 9, it's too slow. So what you want to do is you want to somehow cut your code down. Um, and that's, I guess, part of the problem solving process. But yeah, so I just wanted to go over today, you know, what you want to do with the big O notation once you've calculated that. And so, yeah, uh, I guess I'll just like write out the steps we took. So one, plug in the upper bound. And yeah, so that's basically the steps you want to take for time complexity. And yeah, so thank you for watching.